For a relatively small breeder, run primarily by husband and wife, the Karashi Koi Farm produced some simply amazing koi. This pond is situated in the Sunan area, about 50 minutes drive away from their home in Mushigami. This is the Karashi Kazuto's number one mud pond, a rice field irrigation reservoir containing just 20 jumbo koi. From a distance, it's hard to judge that these koi are all in excess of 80 centimetres in size. As Ikarashi San's helpers enter the pond with a net, we can get a better idea of the size. Ikarashi San splashes the water with a pan net to try and drive the koi into the area, which will be surrounded by the drag net and prevent them from getting into the weed bed. As the net closes around, most of the pond's inhabitants have been secured. As can be seen, Mrs. Ikarashi has a very much hands-on involvement with the netting. The net is raised up in order to prevent any koi from jumping out. As Ikarashi san lifts the coin to the paddling pool, we can, for the first time, get a true idea of the size of these jumbo koi. Every one high class. With seven or eight koi safely in the pool, he's taken out of the net and the koi bag to be carried up the steep bank to the waiting truck. Ikarashi san makes the task of lifting the koi from bowl to tank look incredibly simple. <laughs> Back within the confines of the net, the remaining koi are lifted into the paddling pool. <laughs> Mrs. Ikarashi takes charge of bagging the koi in order that they can be carried to the top. Four koi remain in the pond, and Ikarashi San heads out into the waist deep water, armed with a pan net and paddling pool, to net them individually. Having made the task of netting the first koi, the Sankey that we'll see more closely later, look easy and gives him the slips he tries to support the net and lift it to the pool. Clearly, it's not intending on giving up its summer home easily. Eventually, the Sanke is captured, still not giving up without a struggle.
Soon after, a shower joins in the pool, leaving one Sanke and one shower still swimming free. The Sanke is captured first. Following a brief runaround, the shower is caught too. Luckily, as it slides through Ikarashi-san's hands, it goes straight into the paddling pool. The four koi are taken to the bank, where they are bagged and carried to the truck, where Ikarashi-san lifts them into the now bulging tank. The lid just partially open, in case any decide to try and escape. <laughs> Ikarashi-san adds a measure of elbogen to the water to act as a mild antiseptic and also reduce stress on the journey back to the farm. One of the first koi to be unloaded is this sanke. At 83 centimetres, this Sanke will take the Grand Champion Prize for the Nagoki Koi Show just two days later. You can see more video of this Koi in the Koi Show section of this DVD. This larger 86 cm Sanke will be taken to the Niigata Nogioso show eight days later, where it will take the runner-up prize. Again, you can see it in the Koi Show section of the DVD. This small pond contains the Koi that were harvested. As you can see, it is relatively tiny for the Koi that it will house over winter. For the water volume it contains, it must be one of the most valuable Koi ponds in Niigata if not all of Japan.